Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, here to Adelaide for the return of the Red Bull V8 Supercars. Um, it's been a while since we uh, since we saw these Red Bull drivers out on track for the most part. New body for these cars looks uh, looks a bit more modern, you can say, a bit more. Out
battling these uh, drivers here as car on pit road. So it'll be two laps to go when they when the leaders cross the uh, start finish line. This time here at delayed Australia. Beautiful day for racing, by the way. That right here between Fisher and Rookie. Kuznikov, I believe is what he's saying. Jacob Holtz on pit road, an issue with the driver's car as they have the hood up. It seems that that uh, mechanical issues plagues Mahalz quite a lot lately in these races for uh, for, this, for a lot of these series, really. You know he has a lot of mechanical issues in trucks and you've seen it sometimes in the other series as well. Not really so much the Bush Light series. Zane Davidson trying to go to victory lane once again, I believe, only though for the second or third time in his uh, Red Bull career. He was a rookie last season. Last season was his first season, I believe. And he was able to, to uh, only muster only one win. So if Zane Davidson can bring it home, he just has to cross the line two more times. And he'll capture his second career win, trying to hold off Dylan Abrahamian, who looks like he has a fast race car, but just cannot accelerate better than Zane Davidson. These three still under a blanket right here. Sam Austin, another good road racer, really used to these cars, so keep an eye on Sam Austin this season, as well as I've mentioned guys who are, who are used to this car. Carpentier is one of them as well, Nathan Orman, Nick Smith. Um, and of course, Zach Fitzwalks, you know, all those guys are used to these cars. The rookies, not so much. Not a lot of them, anyways. What a rocket of a race car right now compared to his teammate who's struggled all day, had that mishap trying to get to pit road. Heavy braking zone right here. Really good corner right there for Sam and Oskin in that uh, Monster Energy machine. Davidson was little under a second ahead of Dylan Abrahamian last time. And out of the final corner, he's going to see the white flag this time. One more lap to go for Zane Davidson at Adelaide. Last season finished runner up in the championship to Zachary Fitzwater Sr. And it was really tough for him. Came back really strong though in other series. He won the first race with the new cars, the Gen 7 cars for the Cup Series. He won out there the clash on the Daytona Beach. He went on to win the Daytona 500. Drew off, took a flight all the way to, what was it, the IndyCar Series out at St. Petersburg. Won there as well. He is leading here as he had to fly down here. And it has just been incredible what Zane Davidson has been able to do as a driver. Never before done in this league. He is no one. No one has ever won three straight openers. Zane Davidson trying to be the uh, first to do so, holding off Dylan Abrahamian. Just a couple more corners. Just a couple more corners for Zane Davidson as he is already celebrating, man. He is excited. One more corner for Zane Davidson into the final. Dylan Hemerimian sent it in here but cannot make it. The crowd is on their feet. Zane Davidson, a third straight opener as he opens a can of whoop ass on the field and wins it here at Adelaide. What a drive. Brilliant drive. It's my Arley getting off in the grass right there into the dirt, but through wide right here these guys are still racing as if it's uh but anyways these guys i think these someone's hand is out the window we got a bunch of guys yelling at each other right here carpentier no surprises in the middle of all that but zane davidson captures his second career supercar win gets it done here the season opener man we're gonna need some sort of nickname you're on the man you can do skins mate you can do skins just look out for the engine Man, dominated performance, but so close to Dillian Ibrahim. Really good drive by him, though. Third place, Kane King, the rookie. How about that for the Boost Mobile Machine? 
Really good drive by King Ricky. First race for them, and they get a podium position. Top three already mentioned. Um, I, I bet Sokolov, I believe is how you say it. I bet, I, I have, I'll have to look at the, the Discord messages again, but Carpentier runs out a top five uh, fifth place. Jay Durrell, Sam Oskin, Evanson, uh, Lysandro Athens, Trevor Collins running out in top 10. Louis Fisher, Kuznikov just missing out on the top 10 right there. Uh, Rimo, uh, Xian Hong, or I believe it's how you say it. And others did not finish the race, but Zane and Davidson here, the energy of this crowd right now. Awesome driving, mate. You are a legend. This crowd is going crazy for the hometown driver. Home race, basically. Um, he's going to try and repeat this next race. We head to Barbagallo. Another, uh, you could say, home race for. Um, Davidson, but what a drive, a dominated performance, led every single lap. And um, Fitzwater definitely going to have his hands full with his teammate here this season. As I believe Zane Davidson might be another challenger for the championship once again. Um, so we'll, we'll keep an eye on that as the season progresses. Anything can still happen. Thank you guys for watching. Um, next event you should see, I believe, the... Um, Truck Series will be back in action out there at Atlanta Motor Speedway, followed by the Bush Light Series and the Cup Series. Here's your standings after round one. Goodbye, everybody.